Hi everyone, today I'm doing a video on my Dem Deco or Nat and Jules collection, starting off with my German Shepherd that I have. I'll just show you his tag, so this is what I meant by Dem Deco, Nat and Jules, as it says on the tag there. This one's considered to be large, according to the back of the tag. He's maybe over 12 inches or around that 12 inch mark. He has beautiful paw pads. I love the airbrushing that he has on him. He's got a lovely face. So there he is, the German Shepherd. I do have mostly dogs in this brand, but again, I do have a couple of wolves, which I will show you shortly. I may have some other ones hanging around as well, but these are the ones that I found in my box in the cupboard. Okay, so this one is very unique. I don't think I've ever had a plush in this breed of dog before, which again, I probably will say it wrong. The Peking Geese is also large, so very similar size to the German Shepherd. I love how unique he is. He's just got like one eyebrow, just sort of like, hey guys, over there. <laughs> but yeah, again, I love the paw pads that they do on these guys. This is a look at the Tush tag. There we go. Sometimes I name them and I write it on this white tag here so that, you know, you could cut it off if you really wanted to and you'd still have that tag there. So that's that guy. And here we have our pug. Hello everybody. I think he's also the large one. Yep, pug large. I don't think I named him, no. And the bad plush mother. I need to come up with some new names for my plushies if anyone's got any suggestions please feel free to comment below i love naming them i just for some reason haven't named these ones so here we go he's a christmas one this one they have the green and the red oh you don't really need to see my nails when you're looking at things the green and the red tag dem deco just a labrador yep yellow labrador as you can see there different colour tush tag. I had these ones out for Christmas. I've got another Christmas one, the Beagle. He is. Hello. Very cute. There we go again, those beautiful paw pads that they have and his little baubles on his scarf. Cute little Santa hat. And the last Christmassy one that I have is this little one, <laughs> the Schnauzer. Very cute. He doesn't have a hat, but he's got a cute little ribbon. There's a schnauzer. Everyone, this one's a bit smaller. The other two Christmas ones I showed you were smaller than those large ones as well. But still really cute. Okay, so next up we have the husky. I love his face. And the fur is so cute on these ones too. So this one is considered the small ones. Let's just see. Yeah. So, oh, there you go. Very original. I named this one Jules and I got him on the 1st of the 5th in 2015. So there we go. He's been around in my collection for quite a while. Wouldn't be surprised if I find one in a moment that has the name Natalie or something. How very original. Let me just see what I can remember. I think I got a wolf around the same time as that one yep here we go <laughs> my wolf i named natalie so i got jules and natalie around the same time very original names i went with natalie and jules as per nat and jules i'm not sure if the nat stands for natalie in real it might um but yeah i went with natalie but this one is so cute i love this wolf i think he's the large one yeah or she, I should say. Goodness me. So, it's my Natalie. I've changed her to be a girl. She does have quite a sweet base. Super soft. Kind of reminds me a little bit of my Yomiko Classics wolf that I have. Similar texture, but this one's like real chubby. I love it. How chubby she is. I have another wolf as well. With a little baby. So the one with the little one, it comes attached to it. Um, yep, yeah. wolf mum and pup. 
did not name these guys. So if anyone's got any suggestions, you can name these two, the mummy and the baby. Okay, I'm pretty sure I named this one. This is another small one, the Boston Terrier. Small. Mountain Jewels again. This one I got in 2017, in June. Uh, Davy, I named him. So, hi Davy. I know he's got such a unique little face, this one. So cute. And going along with sort of that same trend, this one is the French Bulldog. Yeah, I got it right. French Bulldog Small. Uh, no, this one does not have a name, so open to name suggestions for this little cutie. She's very, I think, I think she looks like a girl, but open to interpretation. Just look at the airbrushing that they do on the ears. It's so beautiful. I really love this range. There's that one. You don't often see a lot of plush in, in this breed either, the Irish Setter, if I got that right. Yeah, Irish Setter Large. I don't know, no. I didn't give this cutie a name, but just look at that fur. And the paw pads. Really soft and lovely. Beautiful colour. On the Irish Setter. This is another unique one. I just, I love this one. I've never seen a dog like this in real life. Chinese Crested, I believe. In the large. Again, searching for name suggestions if you have any. Beautiful. I just love how unique it is. It's like got so many things going on. It's got like Dalmatian spots, but it's got like fluffiness on its paws and around its face and then it's got like short fur sort of reminds me of the dog in um one of the I think it was 102 Dalmatians the live movie one I think they had a dog similar to this one in it really cute hello here's that one ah uh, I do have a soft spot for this breed definitely so cute I probably have a couple in this breed the German, German short haired pointer, the large one again. Just the fur reminds me of that marble chocolate, and I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly that I named this one after some kind of chocolate. Yep. <laughs> Gillian, like Gillian chocolates or Gillian, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but another one that I got in 2017, so this one's been around for a little while. I think uh, when we had a kitten, she gave him a little bit of a bite on his t on her tag, I should say. Thankfully, uh, when we had her, uh, she didn't chew the plush. She just uh, liked having a bit of a chew on the cardboard tags. But that's okay. This is my puggle. I feel like I try and get in there and get his eyes to pop out because he does is super sweet. Look at that face. And get this right. Yeah. Puggle? Large? Pretty sure I named him Cuddle. Yep. Cuddle the Puggle. <laughs> All about the rhyming at this stage. That's really cute. What else do we have here? This one. It's surprisingly light, but I think this one is a, lar a large one too, yeah. Large Labradoodle. He's, I love the fur. It's really cute. Open to name suggestions on this one too. For the Labradoodle. There he is. Beautiful fur. Okay. Who else do we have over here? Ah. Wizard of Oz fans unite. Khan Terrier needs to get some of that fur out of his eyes. It's beautiful. Khan Terrier large. No name, but I think I secretly named him Toto. I just didn't write it down. <laughs> he does remind me of Toto from the Wizard of Oz. He's very sweet. Gorgeous detailing on the fur. His little paw pads. Super cute. And next up we have a Springer Spaniel. Again, very lovely. Look at the detailing on the ears. Really nice. Just show you the tag. Springer Spaniel, it doesn't tell me if it's small or large. It's sort of, 
I, I think it looks large, this one. Maybe not quite as big as the German Shepherd. Where are we? German Shepherd can hear. You know, very similar. So I would call it large too. I left open for name suggestions, but again, I got this one back in 2017 as well. I got most of these either on eBay. Um, I think I got some from an online toy store as well. I don't know if I've got any from actually physically in store. I think they all arrived from online somewhere. The beauty of online shopping. Okay, so this is the last one that I have. I think it's a multi poodle. Maltese poodle? I believe, small one. Melina. There you go. That's her name. I got her back in 2017 as well. I think the, na the name came from, um, actually, we had a dog when I was younger named Molly. And for some reason, my sister kept calling her Molina. So I've sort of adopted that and instead gone with Melina. Like Millie, Molly that sort of frame of name okay so there they are guys i hope you enjoyed having a look at them i think this range is really is really lovely and i don't see them advertised too often but again it's that dem deco nat and jewels there are some um like jungle animals in this range as well that you can get other animals i'm pretty sure you can even get like forest type animals as well i'm not sure if i have any but if i do find them i will show you guys uh, but for now, thanks for looking at the doggies and the wolves that I have in this range. And I hope you like them. Again, if you've got any name suggestions, feel free. I'm always keen to put little names and give them a little bit more personality. But yeah, thanks everybody for watching and I hope you're having a lovely day. Bye!